You ever hear the phrase, all roads lead to God? On the surface, it seems wonderfully inclusive and emotionally satisfying. But is it true? And what exactly does it mean? Okay, second first. Typically, the statement is used to communicate that all religions, i.e. e.g., that is to say, all roads, as it were, are fundamentally the same, just superficially different, as the ubiquitous coexist bumper sticker commonly found on the Prius so cleverly attempts to convey. There is no right, true, or better religion. Come on, man. Just hop on any holy highway of your choosing, and boom. Ultimately, you'll run right into God, like it or not. In other words, believe what you want, true or false. Do whatever you feel, right or wrong. Place your faith in whomever you like, trustworthy or not. Follow any God that suits your lifestyle, real or fake. Doesn't really matter, because eventually all paths, esplanades, alleyways, off-ramps, U-turns, toll roads, dirt trails, highways, and byways, in fact, all roads more or less traveled, despite what Mr. Frost might say, with all their bumps, dips, and swerves, will ultimately merge into one inevitable dead end where some kind of mystical being awaits us all with open arms. Hey there. But... Is that what the world's major religions really teach? Let's take a high-level survey of Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, and Buddhism, covering about 6.5 billion people out of the 7-something billion living on the planet today. But if you act now, you'll also get atheism, even if you think it's not a religion, because it really is. Either way, I include it because, well, this is my video, and what can you really do about it? Okay, let's break them down. When it comes to the existence of an all-knowing, all-powerful, monotheistic creator god, only two out of these religions would affirm this. When it comes to the name and nature of God, they all differ. When it comes to the meaning and purpose of life, they all differ. When it comes to the afterlife, well, again, they all differ. And finally, when it comes to Jesus Christ, a person they all acknowledge to some degree, Christians claim he is God incarnate, that he was crucified for our sins, rose from the grave, and is the only way to God. The others all disagree with one, more, or all of those claims. Now, with all of that, and believe me, that's just skimming the biggies, I ask you sincerely, do these religions all seem the same to you? I hope not, because most of them don't even claim to be a road to God in the first place. Faithful followers would all emphatically say each is different, and just common sense suggests that if they differ on major things, they are fundamentally different and only superficially the same, not the other way around. And one more thing. If one religion teaches something one of the others deny, well then, my pretties, they all can't be right. They can all be wrong, but not all right. Bum, bum, and all that jazz. Skidoo. Anyway, seems the deeper we go with this, the idea that all roads lead to God is just a vacuous spewing of nonsensical rhetoric, armed with deception and aimed at the wandering hearts of mankind. Yet, I gotta say, in one way, the feel-good utterance of the century is biblically spot on. Why? Because no matter what proverbial road we may follow, according to Rom 14, 10 through 11, Rev 2011, and a bunch of other verses presently scrolling across the bottom of your screen for your convenience, we will all ultimately stand before the throne of God in his presence and give an account of our lives, which is not what our sentence in question attempts to relate, which means it could have eternal consequences on one who believes it. So I got to cut to the chase and tell it like it is, people. In complete defiance of the soteriologically schizoid semantically substandard, syntactically suspicious, simplistically sentimental, silly and sycophantic statement, I offer you the very words of Jesus himself, who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. Paraphrase to fit the metaphor, Jesus is the only road to God, period. Now, if anyone denies that claim, including anyone who asserts said sentence, it is either he that is right or Jesus. But suffice to say, or suffice it to say, or however you say that, this grandiose, unfounded, and untrue catch-all proclamation that all roads lead to God has been debunked. Adios.